All right, so this homework here is reviewing a lot of the multiplication skills we've learned before. Um, so let's just get right into it. The first one is about lifesavers, which is this candy here. And each packet of lifesavers has 14 uh, pieces of candy inside of it. So if you have one roll, there are 14. Um, how would you figure out three rolls? I would double 14 and know two is going to be... 28 and then in my head I'm going to do 28 plus 14 and I'll even show you how I do this in my head I'm breaking 14 into 2 and 12 then I have 30 and 12 that's going to be 42 life savers and then if you just look at that pattern you realize 14 more is going to get you to 56 so four rolls must be here. And now this is where we use some of uh, our knowledge about the ratio table. So if you double four rolls to eight rolls, then just double 56 to get this one. So what is 56 times 2? Well, think about that 50 times 2 plus 6 times 2. And you should be able to do that one in your head then to figure out uh, that. And then I think this last one you can do that one on your own. Then again, same idea, but now we're talking about um, pool. When you play pool, there are 16 balls. So how would you figure this out? So again, uh, you're going to double first to go to one, double that, and then you double this one to get the answer, and then just figure those out the best you can. Um, the trick I would use for this at the bottom is if you have 160, that's going to be pretty easy, 10 sets. So then for this one, you go divided by 2 or half. So what's half of 180 to get that? But again, this is review. You should know these, so let's move on. And I just need to remind you about what is a factor pair. And a factor pair are the two numbers you multiply to get a number. So for 36, you have 1 and 36 what else there's a lot of them <clears throat> it's an even number so you know you're gonna have two and something uh, three would work four would work so what are the factor pairs and then there's one more um, I give you a hint 36 is a square number so this is gonna be the same number for your last one. So I think those are all the factor pairs for 36 and 42, same idea. <clears throat> you can start with 1 and 42. It is an even number, so it has to be 2 and something else, and list all of those. And then, then we're on to the um, story problem. So Bryce has a rug, 14 decimeters by 16 decimeters. I will sketch it like this, and then make your... Uh, rectangles however you'd like but I'll just keep it simple by making those four and then don't forget to uh, put an equation and also your uh, unit <coughs> correct units for the answer and then uh, as we do the next one basically same idea here now you have 13 feet by 11 feet but draw a sketch and figure it out and then this challenge here is uh, quite a good challenge. So let's look at this. So they both ran a marathon, which is 26.2 miles, just in case you're curious, or 42 kilometers. I ran one of these a long, long time ago. Mr. O'Shea just ran one too. But we're trying to compare their uh, times and see who was faster. So Ella was... Four hours, six minutes, and 13 seconds. And Jade was four hours, three minutes, and 18 seconds. Who was faster? That is not difficult to figure out. Who has the smaller time? But here is the interesting question. By how many seconds was she faster? Now, one way to do this is to figure out how many total seconds Ella ran and how many total seconds Jade ran. <clears throat> but that is in 
that's fine if you do it that way. That's actually the way I started to think about this too. But that is going to be a very large number. And I can simplify it for you by looking at <clears throat> Ella was four hours, Jade was four hours. They both ran four hours, more than four hours. So let's just cut that out. It's the same for both of them. So now, can you figure out Ella's six minutes and 13 seconds? Well, there are 60 seconds in a minute. So here you need to do six times 60. And what is six times 60? Well, six times six is 36. And then we're gonna add 13 <clears throat> and get uh, that many seconds. <clears throat> then do the same for Jade and subtract. And that will be your answer for how many more seconds. Or you can try to figure out the total number of seconds, which is fine. That's just gonna take you a lot longer. Uh, so that's it, <clears throat> and thank you. you don't